Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I hope everyone is doing okay. Well, um, last week I bought five sweaters. This week I bought three sweaters. And uh, I thought this is a nice wool sweater, and I've been wearing it around all day long. And I think I paid about uh, $6.99 for this sweater. So it was really cheap. And then I wanted to mention my jewelry. If you get cloisonne jewelry, otherwise, you know, like metal jewelry, you can wear it for years. And what I do is when I'm sick of it, I sell it for a dollar and I get some of my money back. And what is really good is if I need money and I, I'm willing to go to the uh, swap meet on Saturday just for a couple hours, I can usually make around $200 to $300 a week selling stuff at a dollar each. So today I'm just having a little meal, but it's a great little meal because I went to my son's at which time I got these awesome lemons and there's some oranges back there too. And this is some chai tea. And I was mentioning to my son, if you pour your tea over very, very hot tea over your lemons or citrus fruit, it is so good. Okay, lower standard of living on the way? Let's hope not. Meat, low cost, and discount. So today I did discount shopping on meat. And what I bought was markdown meat. So the trick is to find the places where you can get the meat marked down. So I got these steaks, two steaks, and the steaks were, uh, let's see, how much were these steaks? The steaks were, uh, uh, let's see, $7. I think that, or did I get them for $7? Hmm, I didn't write that down. Hmm. Oh, it's on the back here. Ugh. It's on the back here. No, it's not on the back here. Well, I got $2 off and I ended up getting these two steaks for $7 and I cut the steaks in four pieces. So the steaks were fatter at one end. So I just had this one small end. And so the steaks are only three and a half ounces when you cut them in half. But if you put cheese on them, then that is going to give you a little bit more uh, protein. So I have a delicious steak sandwich. Here it is. I have my hamburger buns. So um, when I was doing HelloFresh, they would give us five ounces of meat, which was really liberal. I usually have always eaten uh, four ounces myself. So I will put a little mustard. I like mustard on my steak sandwiches. And then what I did was right away I froze my, um, I froze my uh, steaks in the freezer and I put them here. So, um... This is the other three uh, pieces of steak. And then I have some uh, delicious iced tea left over. I don't throw anything, you guys. Nothing. Okay. Now, so um, one thing one can eat is a, a meat and cheese sandwich with a small fruit or a small vegetable. So uh, this is a small fruit, very small. You could add more fruit or more veggies on the sides. So once, oh, that tastes so good. The lemons are so good, uh, grown, homegrown, you know. So here is my little piece of steak. And I eat all the cheese. I scrape it off. You know, when no one's around, the good cheese, and I eat it. Mm. No wasting. And then I like horseradish. 
So uh, this uh, steak sandwich cost maybe, um, well, the steak was a dollar for three and a half ounces. And then I got a really good cheese for a dollar ninety nine at Grocery Outlet. So this stuff was uh, marked down. So what I did is, now this is shrinkflation. This is only seven, seven ounces as opposed to eight. And I cut it in four pieces. So that would be about, uh, so half of it would be three and a half. So one ounce would be, one of these would be about one serving size. Especially if you like to eat a lot of cheese like I do. Then I save my tasty, this is all that's left of the uh, coffee cake. So I want to eat that with my tea, every crumb. And then I bought these cookies at Grocery Outlet. And uh, these were a dollar for a standard size package. So I got these. So here is my little meal. Okay, so now... Then, uh, so what I'm trying to do is I got blood all over now. What I'm trying to do is get a variety of meat and I'm trying to pack my freezer. So I got also, so that was four small pieces of meat. And then this lamb was $2 off. And this was, I got um, this for $5.49, $2 off. And I will cut this in four pieces. So that's four, four uh, meals. And then I got $2 off on this. And uh, that was uh, $4. So that is four pieces of meat. So I got 12 pieces of meat for six and one uh, chub of cheese, $1.99 for $16.49. So I bought 12 portions of meat and four, pe four portions of cheese, all discounted. So uh, this is a good little cheese sandwich. I mean, a good little steak sandwich. If you were really, really hungry, you could eat two of them because they were cheap enough. Tyson Chicken has closed two, two uh, plants, 1,700 people. A majority stake in, in Tyson Chicken is 65% Chinese company owned. So hurt me if Americans don't have jobs. Also, this month there has been a reduction in SNAP. So... How will this lower standard of living happen? Well, easily. Um, the higher standard, I mean the higher cost of living is because of inflation, so it costs us more to live. Paying more for goods and services, higher taxes, and higher utilities. Out here, the utilities. Uh, I was telling my son, uh, we could go without uh, air in the summer, which would be awful. Uh, one strategy was don't be at home when it's hot. Or if it's really cold, try to go somewhere warm, you know. But they make that difficult now. So, um... So this is what we're looking for. Um, pay more for goods and services, inflation, taxes, and utilities. I mean, what else can they raise the price on gasoline? Okay, so uh, now back to uh, how we're going to get our meat. Eating uh, low meat meals is okay. No meat meals is not my favorite. Uh, you know, it occurred to me that this coffee cake could be made into a pineapple upside down cake. Uh, I also bought uh, fruit last week marked down, and I sent around nine apples today for the rabbits, and I bought another uh, six-pack of bananas for 42 cents. 
uh, I sent those to my son's house. Okay. So by knowing the five ounce portion, you know you need two and a half pounds a week, 10 pounds a month, and 120 pounds of meat per year. So you know, and that's for, you know, five pounds. What I do is I usually use four pounds and then add cheese or something. Then you find the places where you can get the mark, meat marked down. I go to um, Grocery Outlet in El Cajon, um, Smart and Final, Walmart, I got 15 chicken legs for $4.99, a dollar off. Um, anywhere, Some one time I, I blew into Ralph's and I bought a whole bunch of beef marked down. Okay, so now if you stockpile carbs like what? Like potatoes, rice, sweet potatoes, and beans, then all you have to buy is meat. So uh, last week I was making beans and I had stockpiled uh, ham steaks, but this month uh, hams are on sale, so I'm looking for a big ham on sale and I will cut that up. Grow vegetables. So all you need for that is some seeds and then a lot of a lot of veggies are easy to grow. Like if you have romaine lettuce, you can put that in water, you know, the bottom until it sprouts and then plant it in the yard or green onions. All kinds of them grow very easily. Uh, cherry tomatoes year round. Uh, fresh is cheaper than frozen. Okay, my steak sandwich really doesn't cost that much more than a frozen hamburger. But how about stocking up on some frozen hamburgers? You know, so you have a sandwich and some soup or a small fruit and a small vegetable. So, But fresh is cheaper and probably better. So now going back to meat, how about thinking about sandwiches? All you need is meat and bread. And then if you have a small fruit and a small vegetable, you can get by. Add smaller amounts of meat. So if you have four pounds, ounces of meat, add some cheese, some milk, some olives, or some mushrooms. So, or, you know, some veggie type foods. Um, buy the kind that is cheap. I normally don't buy lamb, but it was uh, marked down and I have bought it there before and it was good. So I said, okay, I'll take one. Oh, I learned this, Mean Queen Super Scrimper, go to that channel. She said shop late in the day, that's when they do the markdowns. And sure enough, I went in late and there was the markdowns. Um, okay, why worry about meat? Because there was a shortage of, of meat during the depression and sugar. So we wanna say, do I have sugar, do I have meat? Also, uh, this uh, uh, situation with the Ukraine in the midst of the WAR could cause some kind of wheat problem. Um, and another thing is don't waste um, space in your freezer with a lot of bulky loaves of bread, uh, big, huge cakes and pies. Get your meat and start stacking that up. That way you know you've got some meat in there. 13, get a variety, get all kinds, get pork, get uh, even I buy a uh, vegetarian uh, when it's on sale, but it hasn't been on sale lately. Okay, and don't forget McDonald's. I've been buying uh, two cheeseburgers or it's two uh, chicken sandwiches or one of each for $4. And those are really good. I can survive on those. Okay, prophecy, France will burn. Well, it's burning. The, the people are rioting because they uh, changed the... Um, retirement saying okay people you're gonna work i think it's two more years and the people are burning the city okay um i posted a good video for you Ten thousand steps at home hour workout at home get fit with rick so you know i'm trying to exercise because i know i have to if i want to survive i'm 68 so i did a half hour because ten thousand at an hour is a lot I know I need to work up to working out maybe an hour and a half. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, now the other thing I wanna mention about this lower standard of living. So, okay, if you know it's possible we're gonna start maybe get a lower standard of living in the next few years, be thinking of everything you possibly can do, like cut back on your utilities. One thing I do is I'm not home during the day. Um, cut, I, I try to stay out until after dark, but that's when everybody comes home from work. And so the utilities are 
are high then, but at least I'm not putting wear and tear on my house. So I, and then when I'm home, I try to do everything aside from the fact that every night I insist on cooking dinner because um, your, your health is the most important thing. So that's why I'm exercising and all. And then trying to limit my use of gas and getting five extra dollars a week gas, getting a little bit extra meat when I see a good deal saving a little money the little by little approach will last so if something comes up say uh, six months down the road and you have saved a little money and you have a little food stockpile uh you know you're going to be able to get by and the other thing is knowing that this grand solar minimum is going to aggravate everything and be thinking about hmm how could i maybe insulate my house from the inside or even my car how could I protect myself, like in my case, evacuation, because we have the big fat fires you can't shelter in place. <laughs> I don't think those fires are over yet. I have a giant fire department across the street from me, thank God. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you stock up on water, and God bless you all.